there are two different ways to see how salty your reef aquarium is. One is salinity and one is specific gravity. Now salinity measures the dissolved salt in the water and it measures in parts per thousand, whereas specific gravity is a comparison of how dense the seawater is versus regular water. Now, if you're brand new to this, you're probably asking yourself, well, how salty should my saltwater aquarium be? Well, if you're keeping a fish only system or a reef aquarium, those numbers could be a little different. And along with trying to figure out how salty your saltwater aquarium should be, you may be asking, well, how do I measure the salinity or the specific gravity and which one should I be focused on? Now, if you're only keeping a fish only system, then you can keep your specific gravity within a range of like 1.020 to 1.023. Now, if you're keeping something like a reef aquarium where you wanna house corals and even get in from soft corals to hard corals, you wanna keep your parameters at close to natural seawater, which would be a specific gravity of 1.026 or a salinity of 35 parts per thousand. Okay, so now that you know the numbers you're looking for with the specific type of tank that you're setting up, how do you find that reading? How do you measure salinity and specific gravity? Well, there is a very inexpensive reliable way to doing that when it comes to reef keeping and that is by using a refractometer. Now there's many different ways to measuring salinity and specific gravity in your reef aquarium. Back in the day we used what was called a hydrometer. It would dip into your aquarium, it would fill up with water and it would move a needle arm, it would move a plastic arm that would point at the specific gravity. Now we're a little bit more accurate with a refractometer. Now a refractometer works a little bit differently because it uses the light that is refracting off of this glass through the water to give you your readout. Now, if you are looking to pick up a refractometer, make sure you pick up one that is good for measuring seawater because these can be used in all kinds of different processes um, like brewing and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you find one that is specifically used for aquariums and for saltwater aquariums so that way you get a correct and accurate reading. A refractometer works by taking a few drops of water from your aquarium, opening up this lid here, dropping them down the pipette here, and we're gonna just squirt a few drops of water onto the glass. Then you're gonna close it and that's going to level out the water. And then we're gonna take a look. This right here, you kind of feel like a pirate looking through a telescope here and you're going to use this little focus ring to make sure you focus in on the numbers so that way you can actually see what you're reading now i'll have a link to the refractometer that i use in the description below but when it comes to salinity temperature does play a factor the temperature of seawater at 25 degrees celsius or 77 degrees fahrenheit is a salinity of 35 parts per thousand or a specific gravity of 1.026. So temperature plays a factor whenever you're mixing up your salt water. You wanna mix it up to the correct temperature and the correct salinity. And you wanna mix it up the same way every single time. So when you're adding fresh salt water after a water change to your aquarium, you're getting an accurate representation of the salinity in your aquarium. Okay, so now you know what salinity or specific gravity your reef aquarium or saltwater aquarium should be at, and you know how to run a test to find out that information, but how accurate is this and how long does it last? Well, I can tell you that once you have it calibrated, this will last quite a while before you have to revisit uh, recalibrating it. It can go months and months and months. Um, unless you end up dropping it or it takes a hard fall or something like that, then you can recalibrate it. But pro tip, you can use your calibration solution to check your refractometer from time to time. So if you just put a few drops of the solution on the glass here, check it, make sure it's still reading 35 PPT and you're good to go. Now calibrating the refractometer does not take long at all to do and it's really easy. Um, all you need to do is pick up some refractometer calibration solution. I'll leave a link for that in the description below as well but this is already set at 35 parts per thousand uh, salinity. So it's already set to that natural seawater um, reading that we're looking for. So all you do is take a couple of drops of this, put it on the glass, 
And then you're gonna use the adjustment screw to set the adjustment accordingly so that it reads 35 parts per thousand. And that's when you know your refractometer is calibrated. Every time you mix up a new batch of salt water, you wanna make sure that you're using this refractometer to get that 1.026 or that 35 PPT. If you're keeping a reef aquarium, you wanna check your salinity every time you mix up a new batch of salt water so that it's exactly the same salinity when you go to do water changes or make any corrections in your aquarium. You're keeping up that stability and you're keeping things nice and stable for your reef inhabitants. Well, I hope you learned something in today's episode. If you like this video, go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch this next one right over here. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.